wash the herbs before you use them in vinegar and then you want to make sure that they're thoroughly dry before you use them simply because you don't want to dilute the acidity of the vinegar with any water that might be on the surface of the herb leaves. Now we're going to talk about making herbal teas which if anything is easier than making um, herbal vinegars. All you need is a large glass jar. I like to use one that's about a gallon and you do need a glass jar for this. Um, this is a recycled pickle jar and we got the pickle smell out of it by filling it with hot water and then dumping in some baking soda. So now it's perfectly suited to make herbal teas. Um, of course the classic ingredient in herbal tea is mint. This is orange mint but there are dozens of kinds of mint. You're free to use whatever works for you. Um, and all you do is, well, drop them on the table and then tuck them in the jar. And again, I haven't filled the jar. I've got, oh, about 10 or a dozen pieces in here. All right, stay down there, guys. And then I'm going to add two sprigs of stevia, which is an herbal sweetener. Now you can make an herbal tea, an iced tea, that is strictly herbs. Um, I'm a black tea drinker, so I'm going to put about six tea bags in here as well. Poke them down in there and put the cover on. Then all I have to do is put this jar in a bright sunny spot for three to four hours and it will be made and then all I'll have to do is put it in the refrigerator and let it cool strain the herbs out and we've got our very own herbal sun tea. Um, in addition to mint there are a bunch of other herbs that you can use. Uh, this jar has lemon flavored herbs. This is lemon verbena and this over here is lemon balm which is a perennial. They're both very uh, lemon flavored, both very easy to use. Again just cut a handful and put them in the jar. Um, or you can use this as pineapple sage and yes it does taste and smell just like pineapple. You can use that. And this is, remember we told you there were dozens of kinds of mint, this is banana mint. It has small leaves but it still has the mint blossom and a classic square stem um, and smells just like those little yellow banana candies we used to eat when we were kids. At least those of us were old enough to remember that. Um, and you can use, so you can use that um, in your herbal teas.